So this body of work is called Driven by Distraction and it's comprised of a large wall drawing in the foyer and these two large paintings here. And these paintings are very representative of my work over the past couple of years. Um, basically, um, there's been a shift from what might be perceived as a more figurative kind of way of working into a more abstract way, depending on your point of view. And for me, there's the difference between figuration and abstraction is irrelevant. I sort of see figuration in an abstract way and abstraction in a figurative way. Um, so that, that's very much a concern that that, um, that, that knife-edged balance between those two ways of perceiving things are probably the driving force behind the, the sort of structure of the work. Um, this large painting is called Shapeshifter and it was based on a drawing from family, a room in my family home and as I no longer live there it's very much about memory and experience in my memory of being in a place as opposed to any kind of topographical depiction of the space. Um, so the layering and the shifting shapes and the movement of, of the space and the spectral bands are very important in, in my head in terms of experiencing and remembering a place. The spectral bands have their um, references in quite a lot of different things from lenses and different ways of looking through things to look at, at the world, um, to show things that are not necessarily seen and to bring the unseen into focus, but also in ideas about branding and the reduction of quite complicated things into simplistic means. Um, as, w as well as like the idea of borders and you know um, differentiation between different, different things and the other painting Alpha is also has very similar concerns but there's a figure in that painting and the figure is in the mirror looking back at you so you're like the third person looking into the mirrored figure and returning the gaze to you in, as the viewer um, so the the wall drawing in the foyer takes on board the idea of also being being in a space and moving through a space but the wall drawing came from basically making lots of small little videos on my camera um, of the actual structure of the architecture of the space that I was in, and in this case the RHA gallery, and taking the videos home and very quickly looking at them one after another and responding to the video footage and creating a pattern in that moment from the footage. And if I made the if I had made the pattern like ten minutes later, my response would have been different. So I'm very interested in how you interpret information from a very concrete source, but every single time, it's completely different. And um, I chose pretty much one of the first responses as the pattern to fit on the wall in the foyer, um, basically because I thought the the initial response was probably more interesting, as the more familiar you get the more maybe contrived the kind of response becomes. So that's basically where the patterns um, come, come from. Even though they look very um, sort of like an abstract set of shapes, they're very much rooted in reality.